We, we have better than a fair deal. We had the best deal. <laughs> at the state fair, at the state fair, we had the best deals. And I know this because all year long, I do this at other venues, and the state fairs always have the best offer. Now, that's why I love yep, this is the brand new A Ascent series. It's the A2300. Have you seen it before? No. All right, so it looks a little different than our previous models, but there's hidden stuff inside there that's big improvements. One of them, which I'm just going to touch upon, because it's going to become more important over the next several years. This is our first Vitamix that actually has Wi-Fi connectivity. It has um, uh, wireless Bluetooth connectivity. What this is going to do is it's going to allow in future time, in future we're going to get apps. Actually, they're available now, but they, they don't. They'll be more functional over the next year. What that app will do is will let you take your Vitamix, find a recipe off online for the, through the app, and then it'll tell the, 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 this model of Vitamix how long to run it for, what speeds, it'll vary the speeds based on whatever the recipe is. So you'll, it's like having an unlimited number of programs built into the machine because it's being fed from the app. Um, in the short term, we have a new dual purpose canister. This works for dry and wet ingredients. It has RFID chip in here so that the machine knows, like if I try and run it right now, it won't let me because there's no canister on here. It knows as soon as you put the, lip, the canister on. Future canisters coming out in just a couple months will actually be like little blending bowls to go cups and it'll know what, whether you put a bowl, a cup, or a canister on there and therefore it'll run for the right speed and time depending on the size of your canister. So there's all this new intelligent technology in here that you can get on this model that you've never been able to get before. Regularly this, this model is retails at $599. I can tell you no one pays $599. I actually found it from the Vitamix website for the lowest price of $4.69, except, yep, except the fair has it at $4.49. Normally it comes with just this one hardbound deluxe, it's a really really nice book, when you flip through this you realize how many, it, it might have 80 recipes, but it's got like 200 little tips and pointers and all kinds of special information. So that's in the box. But we're also giving you our kind of Vitamix Bible, our Vitamix cookbook. This is written by our CEO, Jody Berg. Jody Berg is the, is, uh, the great-granddaughter of the founder of the company. And it talks about the company history, but it gives you 200 recipes, almost all of them are brand new. And it's, it's the family recipes from the, the Vitamix family, the, the Bergs. Oh yeah, this, is, this material is called Triton. Yep. And now the cap, the cap is uh, clear, so you can see things as you're, as you're blending it from the top. That's nice when you pour things in. Listen to this click. When you hear that, yeah, yeah, you know it's one. The old, the old ones, you kind of had to make sure it was seated right. It was easy, but it didn't give you that positive reassurance. So let me blend something up for you just to show you some of the basics. Yeah. Now, the Vitamix looks like a blender, and that's probably its biggest problem. Because some people look at it and they say, why is it a $500 blender? By the way, any Vitamix under $500 is a great, great deal. But they look at it and say, why is it a $500 blender? But once you start watching the demonstration, you realize it's actually 13 kitchen appliances in one machine. And Vitamixes are built to last decades. So when you have a Vitamix, you're actually investing in 13 kitchen appliances that are built with such durability that they're going to give you decades of use, and there's no maintenance required on a Vitamix. Top doctors and nutritionists recommend you have a Vitamix because you see this rind? That's where most of the vitamin C and calcium is. So we leave that on there. Not only will you eat more fruits and vegetables with a Vitamix because it's easy to do and everything tastes great, silky smooth texture, but you're also eating more parts of the fruits and vegetables. One of the better parts of the fruits of a pineapple for you is the center core. Oh. By the way, you can make baby food. That's why I want one. Yes. <laughs> now here's what's going to happen. I've met a lot of people who raise their children from toddlers or infants right up through uh, college with the same Vitamix machine. Now, but in 20 years from now, there'll be even newer technology in these machines. And what's going to happen is you're going to be thrilled because your your college student, and we're jumping way ahead, is going to take your Vitamix today with them to college. So you can take them everything from baby food up to, uh, you know, margar frozen margaritas at the dorm room. Yeah, yeah. Because you know what they're going to make in it, right? We're going to put in some spinach. But anyway, we're jumping way ahead. Do you like peanut butter? So we don't use any nuts here, but the, this Vitamix will make you peanut butter in 40 seconds. Now, it's a good thing you have a cookbook. Yeah, peanut butter, almond butter. This will make um, almond milk, rice milk, and soy milk. Now, 
It's a good thing they give you a recipe book because you may not be able to remember the, uh, the peanut butter recipe. But I'm going to tell it to you now anyway. So we start with three cups of peanuts. That's it. That's it. No oil, nothing else, just three cups of peanuts. 40 seconds later, you have peanut butter. So I'm kidding, obviously. You're easily going to remember that. But the uh, almond butter recipe is in the cookbook. Remember, you're getting two cookbooks today. You're also getting a set of cutting boards and spatulas. So just a lot of little extras to make it even more enjoyable to get started with your Vitamix. I'm going to put in some ice. By the way, we've had this in four colors. Black, platinum, or black, slate, white, and red. Agave, yep. And we're going to put the lid on. Now, have you ever tried to make a smoothie in a blender at home? Yep. What am I missing at the bottom? What do you have to add? Or water or milk or something liquid, right? So I said the Vitamix looks like a blender. All blenders need liquids to chop things up and suspend them in the liquids. That's why they're never really a truly a smoothie, because they're little pieces that are chopped up suspended in liquid. This is truly a juicer. So this is a blender and a juicer because we're going to liquefy the fiber. At top speed, the blade spins 270 miles an hour. So our recommendation is, just like you wouldn't start your NASCAR in, in full, you know, full gear, start on setting one, and run it up to ten. Zero to 270 in one second. It has a built-in safety. Turn it off, it shuts itself off. Yep, you like that? I did that because I want to get that spinach out. It was pinched. There you go. All right. It knows when you put it back on, and you can start it up again. So it will start immediately on 10. We just recommend for the, for the motor to start on low and go up. So this is brand new. We never used to have a timer. Good idea. The timer lets you know how long you've been letting it run because many days fall into one of two categories. One is you get distracted, and you're like, how long has it been running? The other days, what the thing is, is you get impatient, and you're like, oh my gosh, it feels like this is taking forever. This way you have a, a you know exactly how long it's been running. Because the optimal time for most smoothies is about one minute. Again, your cookbooks will tell you all that. So this is about 50 seconds, so I'm going to turn it back down to off. All right. And take a look at this texture. Silky smooth, no chunks, no lumps. Do you know what type of uh, blending equipment they use at Jamba Juice and Smoothie King and Orange Julius? One of those? Yeah. <laughs> These companies built their, uh, their foundation products on Vitamix quality. They know the machines will run for thousands and thousands of smoothies, but they also know this texture is unique. You can't get this texture with any other machine on the market. This is unique. This is why Vitamix is known for. Absolutely. Yeah, help yourself. But watch this. Cleaning. Have you ever seen a juicer? Have you ever used a juicer? Oh my god. Warm water, drop a dish soap, and turn it up on high. That's a pineapple. Warm water, drop a soap, and you turn it on, and you let the machine's power clean the canister. You never, ever, ever take it apart. Our yeah. compost isn't going to be very happy. Yeah. And then just um, rinse it out with fresh water the suds. Now, if you want to throw in the dishwasher, you can. It is dishwasher safe now. You've got a smoothie nose. You know, you get a milk mustache, well, we have smoothie noses. All right, let me show you how to make some ice cream. Now, I'm going to make an orange sherbet. Oh, no. Be completely even more delicious. Dairy free. <laughs> Again, remember we're gonna, we're gonna save the pith of the orange, the uh, inner rind, that's where most of the nutrition is. By the way, get yourself this one of these handy potato peelers because then you can peel the orange real fast. The other thing is you're not gonna waste any of the white part. The best peeler actually is here in the fair. Like yeah, get, get one of those, throw it in there. Notice I'm not wasting time cutting the fruit up into small pieces. Now you can leave small amounts of the rind. Small amounts are very easy to digest and they taste great. Oranges, or carrots, carrots in our ice cream. Carrots 
Carrots and ice cream, I'm glad you questioned that because you know what? Sometimes people just watch and they don't even think, it doesn't let it sink in. Now, here's the thing. Let's say you want to, you're, it's late at night, you want a little bit of a sweet snack, but you want to stay healthy, right? There's no way you're going to make yourself a, a carrot salad, right? But here you're making yourself orange ice cream, but you're still getting the carrots. This is why the Vitamix can change your life. The main ingredient in our frozen dessert is ice. What's great about ice? Name something. Fat free. Yep, it hydrates you, but it's also fat free, it's calorie free, and it's free to make free to make in your freezer at home, right? Start on one, go up to ten. So it comes with a tamper. This is why you can push thick ingredients right down into the blade. Look at it thickening. This will be even less than a minute. Uh, not all of them. Are you allergic to something? So in the smoothie is oranges, banana, pineapple, spinach, and lime. Uh, I think I have some agave in there. Do you have a Vitamix at home? Mm -hmm. So this is blender, juicer, food processor. Uh, it's an ice cream maker. Now this one I kept dairy free, but you can do this with uh, yogurt and frozen fruit at home. Only two ingredients to make an ice cream. Not that you're going to be interested in this right now, but you can also make the world's best frozen margaritas and daiquiris. Exactly. Look at how creamy that is. And look at how frozen it is. You can actually get a little peek on that. See that? No, you go ahead and you can have some. Now it comes in four colors. You're getting the best deal here at the fair, plus you're getting a package of extras including two hardbound cookbooks, spatula set, and, co and uh, cutting boards. We'll even babysit if you have something else to do this evening to go look around the fair. You don't have to carry it around. You leave it here, we'll put your name on it, and then what happens is you just swing by before 10 o'clock and pick it up. Yep, and, and we can divide the payments up into five easy payments of $97.19. So we only charge the card today for $97.19, and you can be using this Vitamix tonight, tomorrow morning. You can be using it every day for the next 20 to 30 years. And we're making soup next. So I let you have dessert before we had dinner. Do you know what color you want? Comes in red, white, slate, and black. Yep. We kind of say it's the hard decision because getting a Vitamix is an easy decision once you see all the things it can do. Once you realize how long. You have one? No, I want one forever. I watch Craig Wood. Everything's always expensive. So, you know the Vitamix is... I'd rather have a version of it. You'd rather have a, a new one? Yes. Yes. Warm water, drop a dish soap, it cleans itself. So $97, you take it home today. $97.19 and then one payment a month for four months. That means, what's today, the 24th? That means on Christmas Eve will be the final uh, payment on your credit card. Yeah, really simple. You'll have this thing paid for before the end of the year. But you'll be using it the whole time. So black, slate, white, or red comes with two hardbound cookbooks, cutting boards, and spatulas. When you're ready, let me know what color you like, because I'm going to step over here and write you up. Meanwhile, I'm going to show you how I make soup. By the way, does anybody here like salsa? Who here likes salsa? Yep, salsa, guacamole, bruschetta, stuff like that. What you do is you put your ingredients in here. These are soup ingredients, but we're going to show you how your Vitamix is a food processor. So what have we done now? We've shown you how it's a blender. We've shown you how it's a whole food juicer. We've shown you how it's an ice cream maker. On setting one, your Vitamix will chop and dice and mince. So you have most of the capacity of a food processor built into your same machine. Try the green one too. Take a look at the texture on this. You see, it didn't liquefy it. In other words, if you did this in a food processor, a lot of what's in there would be mush. 
unpredictable. And unpredictable, right. So the Vitamix one set the speed and you get very predictable results. If you want to shred cheese, you can drop a cubes of Asiago or Parmesan cheese, slightly higher speed, and it'll grate the cheese. It'll make breadcrumbs. It'll shred cabbage into coleslaw. It'll chop nuts. All in one machine. Uh, now, because this is going to be a soup, I didn't have to pre-chop anything. I could have left the tomato whole. Anybody here ever made uh, tomato soup at home? All right. So, can a tomato soup at home? Can you leave the skin on the tomato? No. It, it'll it'll roll up. It'll get tight. It'll get uh, tough. So this one, the uh, we leave the skin on the tomato. We're putting in some spices. We're going to put in some bouillon. I'm using a vegetarian vegetable bouillon. Or you can use broth. And we're even going to add some garlic. Now garlic's really healthy, right? Isn't garlic healthy? Yep. Do you mind peeling that for me? Ah, it's a Vitamix. You don't have to. You see, you, know, you got it already. I do. I hate peeling garlic too. And I know there's all these fancy, easy ways to peel garlic, but you're still going to wind up with smell of garlic in your fingers or something that you have to wash. We just throw it in with the skin. It's even easier. Now, why am I adding hot water? Well, you, how does it make the soup hot, right? You can actually add ice water. It'll make the soup hot. You can add um, cold broth right out of the refrigerator or freezer or um, pantry. I didn't have enough hot water, so I'm adding some room temperature. The Vitamix does not require warm water. The reason for us doing it here is just so you don't have to wait as long to try a sample. We can take refrigerator temperature ingredients, everything refrigerated temperature, that means below 40 degrees, and in six minutes it comes out piping hot. Notice we don't even have any steam left because the vegetables are all cold. We turn it, start on one, turn it up to 10. At setting 10, the Vitamix is spinning faster than any other machine on the market. The blades are spinning 37,000 times a minute. So fast, the friction on this is boil, can boil water by friction alone. Or in this case, we're, we're uh, heating up raw vegetables, spices, and bouillon. It's a, the one we're using today is from a company called Blended Up. So I think you have to go online and type, uh, it's blendedup.com. Yeah, now what, what I did here is I mixed it half and half with some uh, McCormick taco seasoning. Because I was running low, yeah. So it's basically a blend of taco seasoning. Yeah. Or you can go to Blend It Up, blendedup.com. It's, it's a lot of the reason that gives it the flavor, yes. But I have done this with straight taco, McC uh, McCormick taco seasoning, yeah. and it was good. But the spice makes it even better. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let me clean up a little bit here, and then we're going to be ready to have our soup. Okay. So, great question. Why isn't this melting? They're both set on setting 10. Isn't this heating? The answer is yes. It was actually heating it. But there was so much ice. There was so much ice, it would have taken a lot longer. So we don't let it run long enough to melt. So we're up to a minute 40. It's probably ready, but let's let it go a little longer while I put out some cups. Anybody else want some more samples? Come on over. You're welcome to have seconds, by the way. If you like it, have, you have a second. I mean, the first one's free, the second one's $5. No, just kidding. <laughs> All right. Now, on medium speed, so one we were chopping, setting three we mince, setting five we can make uh, uh, purees and make, uh, make batter, and here you can make, this is your mixing bowl. So that's the fifth thing, you can make pancake batter. You can make waffles in here, cake batter. So that's two and a half minutes. Let's see how hot. Everybody watching this? Take a look at the steam. Isn't that incredible? Yep. And the longer you let it run, the hotter and hotter it gets. By the way, your Vitamix machine is so durable with all metal parts in the drive system that you actually can run this thing for hours. It won't wear down the parts. You can make soups, you know, three, four times a, a, a week and make smoothies every single day. You can grind your flour. It's a, it's a flour grind, uh, mill. It'll grind whole wheat or corn into uh, meal or flour. All in one machine. Now, what am I doing here with the spinach? 
I'm showing you how you don't always have to have a creamy broth. In other words, by itself, it would have been a nice creamy tomato, like cream of tomato soup. You can have, make wonderful lobster bisque, butternut squash. Yep, lobster bisque is fantastic in here. Um, or you can make chowders. You can make chunky soups just by using the pulse button and chopping in ingredients on a medium low speed. You can also use up leftovers at home. You see, the Vitamix will save you money because you can use leftovers. You can put in leftover corn, cooked beans, rice. You really save money using a Vitamix and you don't have any waste. Nice low speed, pulse in those last few ingredients and look at the quality of our soup. The kind of thing that people would normally take all day to make or a restaurant would make, take half the day to make, we make it in minutes, not hours. What's that? Oh, I know, yeah. So, you know, when you hear the saying, an apple a day keeps the doctor away, that's not apple juice, it's a real apple. We liquefy it. When you hear that, you know, eating hearty soups, soups is good food, that's fresh soups. That's things that use a fresh vegetable, not this canned stuff and all that. So, there's a world of difference between fresh food and packaged food. You ever heard shop the uh, perimeter of the grocery store? Since I've gotten the Vitamix, I always shop the outside of the grocery store. I don't need those processed foods. Yeah. Oh, that's a big one. Yeah. You will find yourself. You will find yourself. The more you eat uh, fresh foods and like this, you wind up, in, you know, in the dairy section. The gro the, the uh, you might do the meats. You do the produce, but that's all on the outside. It's all the box stuff that they put in the center. Yep. Now, what's the worst part about cooking at home? Worst part about cooking at home? Clean up, right? Watch this. Best part about the Vitamix is how easy it is to clean. Don't we all have appliances that we like what they make, we just don't like how hard it is to use them or clean them? The Vitamix is easy to use and very easy to clean. It. And that's why you'll use it every day. Already clean, just rinse out the side. You'll never take it apart to clean it. You'll never have to sharpen the blades. The blades are dull. The bearings down in the bottom last decades. There's no maintenance required on your Vitamix to get decades of, uh, of healthy eating and delicious eating. This is the new Ascent Series Vitamix. This is the new technology. We have multiple uh, models available for to be shipped to your home, but in my opinion, this is the best value with the A2300, and that's why we have this one here at the fair. You're getting all the Vitamix quality at the possible lowest price. Have you seen the Vitamix, or do you have one? Nope. Never seen it before? The last minutes. Did, uh, well, did you try the ice cream? Pretty impressive, right? Yeah. Try the soup? Pretty impressive. Do you like peanut butter? Yeah. I can't do it here, but the thing is, peanut butter is just peanuts, and then 40 seconds later, you have fresh ground peanut butter. 40 seconds. Or almond butter. This will make almond milk, rice milk, soy milk, coconut milk. It'll even make coconut milk. And very easy, almost all these recipes take less than a minute. Right now, let me show you how this works with an apple. By the way, do they grow apples around here? Yes. Yeah, this is apple country, right? An apple a day, without the sticker, keeps the doctor away. So we put the whole apple. Notice the stem, the seeds, and the core. The whole thing is edible. We're gonna put in some strawberries. Do you like strawberries? Yeah, I love strawberries, but you know what? I I don't. I used to not eat the, the tops, but the tops are like a serving of greens. They're actually green food nutrition, like a like a little bitty salad on top of your strawberries. You can leave it with the tops on the strawberries. I'm making strawberry apple lemonade. Have you ever seen when lemons are expensive? They can be like up to a dollar a lemon, right? But the vitamins again saves you money. Wait until you taste this. It's going to be strong lemon flavor but only using like a 20th of the lemon, just a little sliver, because we're leaving the rind on the lemon. We here use agave. You don't have to use a sweetener at home if you don't want to. Or you can use honey, yep. Unless you were just calling her honey, which that's a whole other thing, you know. And we're gonna add some ice. Remember, you don't need to add a lot of water. You can actually um, make very thick milkshakes and smoothies without having to add any water. I'm gonna get this one started without a lot of water, but to make a lemonade consistency, I'm gonna add water once it starts running. 
What we say about a Vitamix is the Vitamix makes, turns whole fruit into juice. It turns apples into applesauce. We said it makes peanuts into peanut butter. It even changes water into wine. All right, there you go. Just wondering if you're paying attention. That would be a miracle. This is pretty spectacular, but I don't think I would call it a miracle, right? So look at that. The, whole, the apple, all he did was cut it in half. Stem seeds core, it liquefies the whole thing. I'm going to give it a little more nutrition with a little bit of coconut water. So running for about a minute. The new timer on the front of the machine tells you how long you've been running it for. So 449 is your total price, and we can even break it down into five payments of $97.19. You don't pay any penalties or extra fees or even interest charges on the on the uh, breaking into five easy payments. The price online, I have seen it as low as 469. But that's without any of the package extras that we're giving here at the fair. fair. So you're getting the lowest price at the fair, and you're getting two hardbound cookbooks. Usually it's just one. And we're giving you the cutting board and the spatulas, and of course you're getting the 10-year warranty included in your package today. Like and a choice of uh, colors, black, white, or slate. So the warranty 10 years covers all pieces, all parts. It's a full machine warranty right up to the, to the end of the 10th year. So it completely covers the machine, whether it's the, you know, a switch. Uh, even if you drop something in there, we had a lady here earlier who ha was putting honey in there, and she was, she was, while it was running, she was holding up a spoon with honey on it, letting it drip in, and she let go of the spoon. They sent her a brand new canister. It didn't hurt the machine, but they sent her a brand new canister, no charges, nothing. They just shipped it right out to her. She had it in less than a week. She didn't even pay the shipping charges. Yep. How do you like the uh, apple juice? Good. 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 Yeah, you can definitely come up and have seconds. All right. Now, for those of you who like frozen cocktails, we're going to make a little bit of a tropical frozen drink for you next. We're here the full length of the fair, but if you want to get one now and still look around, what we can do is we can process all the paperwork. We'll actually babysit the machine for you. We offer free babysitting, but only for machines, not for children. All right. Yeah, sorry. Vitamix.com, you can order right from the website. It'll be $4.69 from the website, and it won't come with the second cookbook. There'll be no cutting board, no spatulas. So you're definitely getting the best deal here at the fair. Yep. And that applies to all of our models. We will tie or beat any uh, all online prices from Vitamix uh, here at the fair with the extra freebie. So you're welcome. Enjoy. All right, enjoy. You like it, huh? You like the soup? That's good because the soup's healthy. Yeah. Your, your children must actually, you must feed them well because um, for them to like the soup, that's good. Yeah. So have you picked out a color yet? It's like the Mexican sauce. Yeah, yeah. Um, Vitamix has been around for 80 years, so it's not like you're buying something that's, you know, newfangled item thing. It's made in Cleveland, Ohio. They use American parts. We have a strawberry apple lemonade, a, an orange creamsicle, and a tortilla soup. Yep. Now, just so you know, that cup, I have to throw it out because you touched it. Not you, but just anybody. Yeah. So do you want that one or do you want me to throw it out? Here you go. You're welcome. So. You ever watch the Food Network? This is the machine that you see Vitamix machines on uh, Chopped and Iron Chef and almost all the, the Food Network shows. Uh, a lot of people think it was always for commercial use. It actually started out back in 19, the 1930s to help families feed their, their families better. So even back in the 30s, okay, which is kind of the early stages of, of, of processed foods, 
they already were concerned that families were not going to eat healthy enough, even back then. You can imagine how much, how much less health is in our food today. There you go. The soup? Good. That question. There's a rubber ring. Right, there's a rubber ring, there's threads and everything like that, right? Well, what they, the reason why, you might want to ask yourself, why do they have a rubber ring and threads if food can get stuck in there? The reason why is because the bearings in most blenders are not made very of quality parts and very well good engineering. So what happens is they wear out. When they wear out, you have to replace it. Well, if you're going to replace that part continually, you have to have an easy way to access it and, and, and change it. The Vitamix bearings last decades with everyday use. They looked at families who were buying their second Vitamix after using their first one every day for two or more times a day. They found an average of 22 years of life on the first machine without any maintenance, no change of parts, no change of blades. The blades on many uh, blenders oftentimes get nicked and, and bent and the, the steel isn't high enough quality to last a lifetime. These blades last a lifetime. So the bearings will eventually go, but it'll be decades. So what they did is they put the threads, the, the seal and all that on the outside so the food never touches it. It's just, it's higher quality of precision engineering and manufacturing. They're actually made in Cleveland, Ohio. Yep. So let me make you this frozen cocktail I've been uh, recommending. Now it's gonna be a mocktail, it's gonna be safe for the kids. We're gonna put in lots of pineapple. Look at how much pineapple we get. We don't throw away the center core. We don't have to worry about these little sharp edges because the machine's gonna liquefy that. Normally you wouldn't eat those parts, right? Matter of fact, a lot of people don't buy fresh pineapple anymore because by the time you cut away the center core and all these sharp edges on the outside, you feel like you thrown away half the slice of pineapple, and you probably did. And here we get these big slices, you don't waste fruit. You don't waste food. We're gonna put in some banana. We're gonna put in some lime. Small amounts of citrus, you can leave the rind. That way, you can use less get more flavor and there's unique nutrition in, in the uh, skins and rinds of many fruits and vegetables that you don't get when you peel them. So we're going to leave a little bit of the lime with the rind. We're going to use a little bit of coconut milk. Like I said, the Vitamix will make coconut milk. It'll make almond milk, rice milk, and soy milk. Uh, you know what? We're going to add a little bit of agave. Notice I don't even want to waste any of the agave. It's funny because I bought my, my Vitamix five years ago. Five years ago, you know, I wasted a lot of food. I didn't like wasting food, but it just seemed like things went bad. It seemed like, you know, it was hard to, to use every last drop of things. The Vitamix helps you to get more out of your food dollars. I'm gonna add some ice. In this case, we're gonna add extra ice so that we can make a frozen kind of consistency. And, if this was your favorite pina colada, you'd be looking for maybe your favorite coconut rum, right? Well, guess what? Don't tell anybody here at the fair, but I actually have for you my favorite coconut water. All right, so I can't do coconut rum, right? But I can use the lid as a shot glass. That is intentional. There's actual measurements on there on the new Vitamix here, where we use the cap as a shot glass to measure ingredients. And the reason why is because this is the number one bar blender in the country. You will find more Vitamixes in uh, uh, professional bars, coffee shops, smoothie shops, and restaurants than every other high-speed blending machine combined, every other brand. Set it to one, hit start, turn it up to high. When you need to, you have a tamper to push the ingredients right down in the blade. If you need to, you can add ingredients while it's running. Just keep the lid on, keep the cap on to take the uh, lid off. Anybody else want any more? Otherwise, I gotta throw it away. I don't want to let it sit. Come on up. Don't let me throw it away. I hate to do that.
Strawberry apple lemonade. Strawberry apple lemonade. And then spin it back to zero. Shuts off your machine. Have you ever ordered a uh, frozen drink at like uh, one of these chains like Applebee's or TGI Friday's, right? They use Vitamix machines behind the bar. And they do it because it produces this really, really silky texture. The ice has been thoroughly liquefied or creamed so that what you get, you don't get any grittiness, you don't get any wateriness. This one here is safe for the kids. We have no alcohol in here. I know some of you are disappointed about that, but you know. But if I make at home, when you get your cookbooks at home, by the way, your cookbooks that come with the Vitamix actually have cocktail recipes in them. Yep, in addition to very healthy, you know, salsa, guacamole, all that. Go ahead and give it a try. Stick around, next, next round we're gonna make a tomato soup. We've been pr making a tortilla soup. We're gonna make a tomato soup next. Do you like this one? This is your fa new favorite? See, what's wonderful is the kids, it's like everything you make it is, it becomes their new favorite. Yeah, enjoy. So regularly this model of Vitamix retails at $5.99. I can tell you probably nobody pays $5.99, right? We all get discounts, especially online. So the best online price I saw was $4.69. And it didn't come with the, all the extras we're giving you here at the fair. So the fair price is actually the best price. More than fair. Uh, we're doing a second hardbound cookbook free. Actually, the bigger cookbook is the one we're giving you free. You're getting two cookbooks. You're getting a set of flexible cutting boards. We're giving you spatulas. And of course, it's coming with, with the base, with all the new technology. This is the newest Vitamix on the market. And it comes with the tamper and the uh, special canister and everything. By the way, they're coming out with new tops, new canisters for these that'll fit these machines. It won't fit any of the previous models. It's gonna have blending cups, so you can actually have a smoothie to go. It's also going to have a blending bowl so you can make small amounts of peanut butter or pesto or mayonnaise and it blends in the bowl and then you just turn it over, put a lid on it and put it right in the refrigerator. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Warm water, drop a dish soap and your Vitamix is so easy to clean you'll use it every day. You're welcome. Good. Yeah, you would love it. Yeah. Isn't it great when the kids say, give us more fruits, vegetables, yep. I am, I'm gonna make a tomato soup. Right. Come on up. We have uh, smoothies made in the Vitamix. Come and see our newest model, the Vitamix A2300. How are you doing, sir? Enjoy? I'm back again tonight. Yeah, I thought, remember you from last night, right? All right, so. Is this the same thing you had for orange, banana? No, this one's actually our uh, more tropical. It's a banana, uh, pineapple, coconut milk. It's kind of a, a like a a mock pina colada. You like that one? You like the other one better? The one with the lime in it? They're all good. They're all good. Yep. I, I'm run, I've run out of, I, I've made so many things now. I tell people you should buy one if you buy a lot of fruit and vegetables. It pays for itself in just over a year. Oh yeah. Because you don't throw away parts. You haven't thrown anything away. Yep. Alright. So, tomatoes. Uh, let's see, we'll add a little bit of vegetable bouillon. Yep, well actually this one's going to be more of a tomato soup, it's going to be Italian vegetable soup. A little bit of vegetable bouillon. A little bit of carrots, actually you know what? This time, instead of the uh, taco seasoning, we're going to use some Italian herb. Come on up, we have a smoothie for you. A little bit of spices. And garlic. 
Don't even have to peel the skin on the garlic. It's gonna liquefy the skin on the garlic. That'll save you time. Plus, you won't go to bed with the smell of garlic on your fingers, right? That's a plus. I'm using a little bit of hot water to make your soup faster. The Vitamix can make hot soup from cold ingredients using just the speed of the blade spinning, the friction and kinetic energy of that spinning of the blades will actually take water or broth from room temperature or even refrigerated all the way up to boiling. And all you have to do is turn it to speed 10. Now because we used warm water with our raw vegetables, because we don't have to make it quite as hot at home because we're putting this in paper cups, I'm just gonna let it run for about a minute and a half to two minutes. And then we'll show you how much more steam and, and temperatures we got on it in just a minute and a half. So the center dial of the Vitamix controls the speed. On setting one and two, the Vitamix is moving so slowly with power that it chops and dices. There you go, enjoy. And on setting three and four, you're gonna mince so you get a smaller chop. This is also where you can grate cheese like Asiago or Parmesan cheese. Setting five is perfect for making uh, batters. Your Vitamix is 13 kitchen appliances in one. So it's also a mixing bowl. As at setting five. Setting uh, seven and eight, you can make purees and apple sauces, even baby food. And then setting 10 is where we're gonna completely liquefy. It's where you have the speed and power to be able to make a frozen dessert from frozen uh, fruits. And you can make the silkiest smoothies, whole food juices, or by letting it run longer, there's so much friction and kinetic energy that you actually create a hot soup. Look at how hot that got. There was no steam on that a minute and a half ago. It'd be a wonderful creamy broth right now, but I'm just gonna show you how you can add some texture to your soup. I love creamy soups. Creamy tomatoes, celery, broccoli, right? All that. But I, I would probably get bored of cream soups every day. Well, your Vitamix solves that issue by allowing you on a food processor setting and the pulse button here to chop in ingredients and still maintain texture. Remember I said setting five, you can make batters in here. When I make pancakes, I love to add chocolate chips and walnuts. And how I do that is I make the batter, get it fully ready, and then I add the walnuts, chocolate chips. And on a nice low speed, I put in the final ingredients. In this case, for our soup, we're gonna do a little bit of corn and corn chips. And on low speed, we're gonna just stir in those that corn and corn chips. Kinda like when I make pancake batter, I'll stir in some walnuts and chocolate chips. And just like that, in minutes, minutes, we convert raw vegetables into a delicious Italian vegetable soup. This time of year, the tomatoes are coming in so fast, you have to find ways to use them up. You put all that effort into creating your garden. At this point, it's now free food from your garden. You can make tomato juices, you can make tomato soups, you can even make tomato sauce and puree. There's recipes in the cookbooks for fresh tomato sauce. And then cleanup is so easy, you'll never again throw your tomatoes on the stove and go through all that long drawn out process and have to wash multiple pots and pans because the Vitamix cleans itself. How you doing? Good. Warm water, drop a dish soap, turn it on high. And then rinse the canister out with fresh water. It is so easy to clean, you'll use your Vitamix every day. Oftentimes families are using this two, three, four times a day. And with the Vitamix durability, they're built to last decades. So with one investment of only $4.49 today, you are getting Vitamix's newest series, newest model, the Ascent. This is the A2300. You're getting it at the lowest price available. But because you're at the state fair, we are going to double the uh, cookbook value. It's usually this, this uh, hardbound, really deluxe quality cookbook. Look at the, the fancy uh, graphics and all the wonderful ideas in here. But we're gonna double that. We're gonna put in the Vitamix cookbook, which is written by our CEO, Jody Berg. Jody Berg is the founder of Vitamix. I'm sorry, Jody Berg is the great granddaughter of the founder of Vitamix. And in the beginning, it tells you the Vitamix story, kind of the background of the company and our founder, John Bernard, which is our great granddaughter. 
Vitamix is not only a family business, it's now a fifth generation family business. So we're doubling the cookbooks, we're giving you spatulas and cutting boards, all free, all complimentary, with our newest model, the A2300. Uh, at 449 is a lot to put out right now. We'll take the payments and split it up so it's only $97 down, $97.19 to be specific. And then with four easy payments, more easy payments, you're actually done good Christmas Eve. And you can be using the Vitamix the whole time. All right, come on up and enjoy, folks. Now we're gonna wait a few minutes till all these samples clear and then we're gonna wind up making some more.